Really going at it over there. Yep. Beautiful. Thanks. So, Vanillum is a German progressive death metal group, uh, and this is their actual full length. They haven't had anything out before this except for a mini album uh, that was a self-titled release. Um, very straightforward compared to this. Somewhere along the line, though, they uh, did a tour with Horrendous and started releasing a couple songs here and there, and now we have Trance of Death, which is, this CD just came out this year, um, and it's a, a real monster of an album, uh, a lot of new elements to their sound that they really haven't put together before, uh, it has a lot to do with that aforementioned band Horrendous, actually, a lot of the same psych and prog elements. Um, so how does it pan out? Uh, well, we don't have a whole lot to say about it, but what we do have to say is fairly positive. But we'll get to that later. Uh, so, the, the kind of the big first thing here, we'll get the shit out of the way first. Um, Eric, did you have any complaints? Really, all I can complain about is that some of the transitions and some of the songwriting isn't as smooth as it could be. Yeah, the songs be. are generally pretty lengthy, especially the last song at 14 minutes. But other than that, other than there not being enough solos, and that's a personal taste for me, it's more of an atmospheric album, so it's not a big deal right. in the grand scheme of things, but I could have used some more solos. Um, sometimes the riffs plot a bit and don't really go anywhere, but that's, that's rare. It's very rare that that happens. That There's no moments where you're like, wow, I wish this riff would end. This is horrible, or anything like that. I just feel like some of the ideas aren't as fully fleshed out as they could be. Right. That's really all I have to say negative about it. Um, do you have anything, Dad? Yeah, there's not a whole lot I really have to complain about. I will say that I feel like the first four tracks uh, don't really compare to the last three tracks, the actual Trance of Death tracks, part one, two, and three. Um, and that's not really a bad thing. I feel like you're graduating from like an eight out of ten to a nine out of ten. Um, I, I do think that Cold Threat comes off as a little bit too blatantly as a single, with the chorus uh, just going, Cold Threat! Um, and, and it really being the only big chorus on the entire album, it just seemed a little out of place. Uh, other than that, I, I just can't seem to find anything to really nitpick about. Um, inconsistencies here and there, but with experimental, more progressive sounding death metal albums like this, kind of similar to like Blood Incantation or Old Time Ghoul, um, you're going to have your ups and downs occasionally. But yeah, that's about it. That's, that's about the only uh, real issues that I have with the album. So really a lot of pros here, um, a lot of good things going on within this album. Uh, first and foremost, uh, like we've already kind of mentioned, there's a very deep and intricate uh, song structure to absolutely everything throughout the album. Um, first four tracks maybe uh, a little more streamlined than the uh, last three tracks, but really you've got progressive rock, psychedelic rock, um, black and death, uh, standard black metal, as well as a lot of symphonic elements, uh, a lot of keyboard going on here uh, in different capacities. Uh, lots of tremolo, of course, uh, and this deep chasmous production that really brings it all together perfectly. Yeah, let's okay. talk about the production. Oh yeah, more, definitely. That's something that really, really impressed me. I, I listened to it on high-end headphones, and a, a lot of death metal just doesn't translate well to that. You can pick out all the imperfections and all the bad mixing, and this is one of the better produced albums I've heard recently. It has the perfect oh, yeah. amount of murk for the atmosphere they're trying to convey. It really does. The bass presence is amazing. Especially for a black death metal. Oh yeah, it's impeccable. Exactly. Yeah, it An atmospheric black and death metal type album. I was really, really impressed by that. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, the vocals are really mixed well as well. Uh, they are put up just right where they need to be inside the mixing. And everything in general, I feel like I have 
virtually no complaints about the placement of all the different tracks. It can be really hard to keep track of everything going on within all these different pieces, but the way that they are organized and the way that they are balanced is, is really just satisfying to hear. Um, from start to end, you really feel like uh, there is a sense of direction, there is a sense of uh, organic songwriting, really. Uh, so, yeah, I'm really impressed with how that's been laid out, all that production. Um, really good stuff. So, all in all, the production is very sound. I, yeah. I wouldn't okay. change anything about it. I'm kind of moving into the concept, which really stacks on that. Um, really, all you have to do is look at some of the reading materials behind the album's concept, and you'll see a lot about death, uh, the formation from life into death, as well as the killing blow. The four, four tracks uh, were actually about the the death, the, the murder of it. You've got Cold Threat, you've got the first three tracks before that, which are also, you know, about, you know, just eating shit in general, and you've got a lot of movements in there that really, really set the tone, a lot of really heavy, aggressive riffs. Uh, that really transition into the last three tracks, which have a lot more of a, almost like an opera feel to it, more like <clears throat> movements where you've got a lot more of the psychedelic progressive elements. Uh, you've really got a, a slower pace, but a lot more breathing room. Uh, I think the atmosphere is really cranked up to 11 a lot of the times. And that's what's kind of so interesting about it, is it feels like there are two completely different tones that work really well in harmony together. Um, and it really leads to a really challenging but interesting concept for a CD. Uh, I'm actually really impressed with the way that it ebbs and flows throughout and it keeps you interested as well. I, I feel like there's not one particular part in this album that I don't feel at least marginally entertained. So. Yeah, even the worst tracks on the album are still excellent tracks. Oh yeah, there's so much going on there. I would say the last five tracks, the Trance of Death trilogy, are noticeably better. That's not to say the first half of the album is bad, oh, yeah. oh. but this, the second half really drives it home, as you were saying, in oh, the definitely. way of atmosphere and compositionally the more interesting. There's a lot of build-up. They're very climactic. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of progressive rock riffs. There's a lot of keyboard going on. There's a lot more experimental uh, songwriting in the second half of the album as well, which I think really just serves as a basis for climax, climax, and climax all the way to the end of the album. And the really interesting part about it is that the beginning of the CD uh, actually is a violin passage with a very distinct riff. And the last track on the CD is a tremolo riff that is actually playing that exact same violin passage. And the way that it loops is an interesting, uh, is kind of an interesting speak on life and death and how they kind of correlate, how they circle around. Uh, it really ties into the concept so well. When the songwriting it really ties into the concept of the album and you have a complete package like that, you really have a one-two punch that really nothing this year can really come close to, I think, anyways. Um, so, is there anything else that you'd like to talk to within the album? Well, I feel like I should mention the drumming on this album. Definitely. I, I can't really mention the other instrument playing. It's serviceable, not bad, but the album isn't about being showy, so there isn't a ton to say about the guitar work, the bass work. It's all well produced, it all does its job. But the drumming, I think, is very, very good. Oh, yeah. The drummer could have easily fallen into the trap that a lot of atmospheric black and death metal falls into, where the drumming is the same pace, monotonous. the same monotonous blasting over the course of an album, and there's none of that on here. No. His drumming is incredibly varied, it fits the whole progressive nature of the album, oh, yeah. and Good stuff by that guy. Oh yeah, totally agree. He feels more like a progressive rock drummer, progressive metal drummer, than he does like a black metal drummer. And I have to hand it to the entire group for feeling less like a straight black metal group and more like a group that's looking to push the boundaries on what is and isn't considered uh, acceptable within the extreme metal genre. Um, I think myself, I'd give it a 9. I think it's excellent and one of the best albums of the year so far, Eric. It's fantastic. Uh, I'd have to give it an 8. Yeah, definitely. So I think we can settle here on an 8.5. Um, so as always, I'm David. I'm Eric. Thanks for watching Heavy Meta. Stay tuned for much more dumb-ass shit in the future.